It might sound counterintuitive at first, but can nightmares help people heal from trauma? The brain tries to resolve traumatic experiences during sleep, so when we wake up from a nightmare, that process gets disrupted. But here's a treatment that could help people make up for this while they're awake. Dr. Francine Shapiro, the originator of eye movement desensitization reprocessing, explains how EMDR can help people move from nightmares into healing. You note that disrupted REM sleep is often a marker of PTSD. Um, why do you think that and how can EMDR help? It's a perfect example actually of what's occurring. The earlier memory, let's say in PTSD, the trauma being held unprocessed with the emotions, physical sensation, belief, the brain continues to try to process it. And that's what dreaming is about. REM researchers, dream researchers say during REM state, what the brain is attempting to do is process survival information to resolution. That's why all of us have had the experience of feeling disturbed at something, going to sleep and getting up the next morning and feeling better about it with a better understanding of what to do. The brain has done what it's supposed to do. It's process the information and guiding us appropriately in the future. But when a trauma has occurred, it's disrupted that process and though the brain is trying to do it during dream, the person continues to wake up in the middle of a nightmare, et cetera, because it's too disturbing to occur. So within EMDR, one of the things we'd be looking at is what, is, what are the nightmare images that a person reports? So for instance, a um, person who is an uh, individual saying they continually wake up in the middle of a nightmare of being chased by a monster through a cave. We target the, the, um, the uh, image of the dream, the dream image. And so she's holding in mind being chased through a cave by the monster. We start the processing, and most often what happens is like a veil gets peeled back, and the individual see, sees what the actual experience is, and the person reports, oh my God, that's the person who molested me, chasing me through my childhood home. The processing moves it to resolution. And the person, again, no longer has that dream image because once it's fully processed, it's integrated with larger memory networks and arrives at that adaptive resolution. So that dream image does not come back again. So it, happily, that's one of the ways that EMDR is able to function. You don't have to try to change the person's mind about it or talk about it, they don't have to describe it in detail at any time. It's simply identifying the image and the thoughts, et cetera, that go with it, and then processing it to complete resolution. EMDR is not only unique, but can also be effective when it comes to helping people deal with feelings of shame, anxiety, and fear. 